The Aquarius Start Pump range is specially designed to create spectacular fountains in garden ponds and water features. The pumps are supplied with a telescopic riser pipe and three different fountain effects. A second outlet tea distributor is supplied to enable the Aquarius to feed a small watercourse or water feature at the same time as producing a fountain. Each outlet is individually adjustable. A swivel ball joint is also included to enable accurate fountain head alignment, particularly when the pond floor is not completely level. Installation. Firstly, remove all packaging and read the instruction manual carefully to familiarize yourself with the product and the accessories. Screw the tea distributor onto the top of the pump. If you intend to run a fountain, slide the retaining nut over the telescopic riser pipe. Screw the fountain head base onto the top of the riser pipe. Then screw the desired fountain head into the fountain head base. The large, flat head creates a bell shape, lava effect fountain. The dome shaped head creates the magma effect fountain. And the head with the serrated edge creates the Vulcan effect fountain. Now screw the fountain unit onto the tea distributor using the retaining nut to lock the riser pipe into the appropriate position. To change the fountain head at any time, disconnect the power supply, unscrew the fountain head from the fountain head base and replace with the desired nozzle. If you wish to use the second outlet, screw the thread adapter onto the second outlet, then screw the stepped hose tail onto the adapter. Depending on the hose diameter being used, the stepped hose tail should be cut down to the relevant size to avoid any frictional loss. If you are not using the second outlet, ensure the flow regulator on the side of the ball joint is closed down to ensure the maximum flow through the fountain. Position the pump in the desired location in the pond and make any adjustments to the riser pipe that may be required. Connect the power supply to the pump and check the operation is as desired. If required, disconnect the power supply and make any adjustments to the flow rates of either outlet using the flow regulators on the T distributor and reconnect the power supply when completed. Always consult a qualified electrician when installing any electrical equipment in your garden and remember to disconnect the power supply before entering the water or performing any maintenance task on your pond and pond equipment. Maintenance. Before performing any maintenance on your pond equipment, always disconnect the power supply prior to commencing any work. Remove the pump from the water carefully. Do not pull the electrical cable. Remove the fountain attachment, riser pipe, and tea distributor and clean where necessary. Remove the pump casing by depressing the bottom part of the casing where indicated and lift open. Remove the retaining nut from the top of the pump and remove the pump from the casing. Clean the casing using clean water and a brush or cloth. Remove the front of the pump housing by rotating anti-clockwise, then pulling out. Remove the impeller by pulling gently. Clean the impeller and impeller chamber carefully. If you notice signs of wear and tear, the impeller unit should be replaced. When cleaned, replace the impeller into the impeller chamber. Then reconnect the pump housing. Ensure the pump housing locates with the retaining nodes on the pump body. Push the pump outlet through the hole on the top half of the strainer casing and screw the retaining nut into place taking care to route the cable through the cutout section of the casing. Close the casing. Reconnect the tea distributor and fountain attachments and return the pump to its location in the pond. Reconnect the power supply and check the operation is satisfactory.